Howdy ho, folks. You're listening to Pod Behavior. I'm Isabel, and I'm joined here today with my co-co host, Bella. Yes, Bella's the third member of our Pod Behavior panel. Wow, that's a lot of pays. Sorry. Unfortunately, (laughs) my co-host Brianna, well, our co-host Brianna, is not here to join us today, but hopefully she will be back next week when we talk about... Spoiler alert! Conspiracies! conspiracies. (laughs) Today, we're going to play a party game. It's called If You Had To. So basically, it's Would You Rather, but there's cards that are already pre-written, and it's very fun. So we're going to not go through the deck, the whole deck, but we're going to play some. So yeah, let's get started. Pick the cards. First, first two cards. Okay. If you had to, would you rather eat a... Um, Cessna 172 plane. Four-seater, piece by piece, or be replaced in your friend group by a porpoise mas- masquerading as you. How big is the Cessna 172? <laughs> <coughs> it, it does four-seater, so... So, like, not that big. <coughs> it's still a plane. What am I talking about? <coughs> it didn't say it had to be a real plane. True, it could be a model. Or a cheese plane. Or a cheese plane. Yes, could be a cheese plane. <laughs> okay, I guess I would eat the plane. Cheese. <sighs> what would you do? I'd eat the plane too. Because <laughs> cheese. Yeah. Uh, next two cards. If you had to, would you rather be a meter maid, but you're also a reindeer? <laughs> or... <coughs> Have sad puppies follow you everywhere, and you can o- and, and you can do nothing to help them. I do the reindeer one because one, I'd be reindeer. That's fucking cool. Um, yeah. And two, if I had sad puppies around me all the time, I'd kill myself. Yeah. I don't. I don't think I would vibe being a meter maid, but like reindeer. <laughs> <gasps> can I fly? <gasps> oh wait. <laughs> wait, can I fly? Can I be Rudolph? Yep, meter maid. <coughs> Next cards. Meter maid by day, Santa's reindeer by night. <laughs> but only Christmas Eve. That's the only night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you had to, would you rather your height fluctuates by three feet every day, <laughs> or have your significant other cheat on you with your mom and or dad? <laughs> and my dad. <laughs> and or. Yeah, but that means he. Well. That means they might have might just like cheat on me with both my parents. Do some. No, don't talk about that. <laughs> That's my folks. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> um I guess it would kind of be cool if my height just like fluctuated by three feet. Yeah. <laughs> Catch me at different points in the day. Seven <laughs> feet, also four feet. <laughs> I'd be one foot. No, I'd be two feet. I'd be two feet tall. And, or I'd be two feet tall, or I'd be eight feet tall. That would be terrible. Because you're five foot? Yeah. I'm almost six foot, so I'd either be nine feet tall, or, like, three feet tall. That'd be terrifying. (laughs) I'm a 30-year-old person. I'm a 30-year-old person looking like a toddler. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Next cards. (laughs) Okay. Would you rather your inner thoughts are announced through a loudspeaker or you have to watch every single episode of The Big Bang Theory nonstop, 224 and counting? I'd do that one. Uh, if I if my thoughts were going aloud on a speaker, no one would like me. I don't want either of them because I really hate The Big Bang Theory. I've I never, hate it a lot. I've never watched it, so I don't think I'd mind it too much. You've never seen The Big Bang Theory? No. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky. It's terrible. No one. I is. hate it. No one. It's well. I hate the Big Bang Theory. I do. I can't even stand it. Sheldon, shut your. S- everyone who shut likes up. the everyone who likes the Big Bang Theory is quaking, and they unsubscribe. Yeah. If you just unsubscribe because she doesn't like the Big Bang Theory, you're a loser. No yeah, fact. And that's on. <clears throat> can't think of anything right now. <laughs> Because it's a free country, I'm choosing neither. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to do either of them. That's not really how the game works, but okay. <laughs> Shut up, Bella. No one asked you. 
Next cards. If you had to, would you rather live your life dressed up as Barney the Purple Dinosaur or things randomly explode when you touch them? I'm going to be Barney. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want things to explode when I touch them. Because, um... That would be cool, but when I assault you, then you would explode. I don't think that would be very cool. I learned how to, I learned how to control it, because I'm just that cool. <laughs> oh. Math homework? I don't think so, Mr. Miley. <laughs> I... You blow it up while you hand it to him. Oh, sorry. Ooh. It was done, so you should give me the credit, but... Hmm. Ooh, chores? Blows, Ooh. Up the, blows up the house. <laughs> Ooh. You can't do chores if there's no house. We're Ooh. homeless now. No. I'll just go live with Isabel. <laughs> you, though. <clears throat> she can live with Jason. That'd be fine. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we probably have to go live with Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tear girls. Or your grandma. Yeah. I'd rather live with Jason. You'd rather live with Jason? <laughs> yeah, my grandma. Oh, it's annoying sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Except my grandma. I'm, my grandma gets annoying. <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa's fine. Next questions. <laughs> we completely destroy our grandma. <laughs> She doesn't listen. It's fine. She doesn't know it exists. Yeah, she doesn't. My grandma most definitely doesn't know how to work YouTube because she. No, I was gonna roast her. I was gonna roast her, but I'm not going to. My grandma has a better phone than me. <gasps> She's an eight. Ugh. What a god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next cards. Would you rather hold the record for the world's biggest boobs, or <laughs> have to spend your entire childhood at Neverland with Michael Jackson? <laughs> The second one. Neverland, because I'm not a boy. <laughs> it's Wendy. <laughs> Instead of the cover picture for the episodes, I just make it the picture of Wendy as Michael Jackson. <laughs> but it's that one picture that I took of her being dead serious. <laughs> she looks furious. Oh, it's the funniest picture. Okay, next cards. Stop putting on lip gloss. <laughs> and read the next two. If you had to, would you rather the world is about to end and you can't tell anyone, or you're a genius, but you're also a goose? <laughs> I want to be a goose. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> no one, me. Honk. <laughs> I did that one as well. Yeah. I would, oh, I would be the coolest Because if I'm a genius, I can just write with my feet in English. I would be the coolest goose. You would be the coolest goose. I really would. I'd wear a tie, just cause. <gasps> I'd wear aviators. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. Now I kind of wish I was a goose. I'm to 100 real quick. <laughs> I kind of wish I was a goose now. <laughs> You're a witch. <sighs> <laughs> Honk. I'm a goose. <laughs> <laughs> Next cards. Okay. I do be struggling though. <laughs> Okay. Would you rather get fired out of can out of a cannon into orbit, or every time you sit down, two fat guys sit on either side of you? <laughs> First one. Yeah. I feel like if I got fired into orbit, NASA would just be like, oh, another planet! Yes, that was a fat joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, kind of accurate. No. I am now a planet. I'd be the failed attempt and i'd go crashing into my everest yeah if you had hmm. to would you rather r kelly is permanently trapped in your closet or <laughs> your floor is made of loaded firearms r kelly we could be homies are they working loaded firearms true can be more specific <laughs> r kelly <laughs> it's fine is. He's, like, a rapist, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But he's trapped in the closet, so it's fine. Yeah. <gasps> I don't have closet doors. <laughs> he can get out. You staple it. That'd be... He lays on the floor and sticks his head at the bottom. <laughs> can, I have a, can I have a black pair of leggings? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next cards. I do be struggling again. Okay. Would you rather anytime anyone sneezes, they must do it in your face, or you're famous for having the world's smallest penis? <laughs> Second one. I'm girl, so I think that's a good thing. Yes. 
yes, I just, yeah. She has a small penis, loser. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Imagine if guy and girl parts were just, like, switched. How would guys deal with periods? They wouldn't. Well, they would cry. If they were switched, then it'd be different because they'd be used to it and we wouldn't. So we'd, probably, so we'd probably be in the boys' place about periods. Yeah, that's true. So we'd be like, ew, periods. And they'd be like, what? And they'd probably be the places and be like, no. It's, it's <laughs> natural. And then we'd be the ones like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But then we'd get nut tapped. <laughs> <gasps> true. Girls would be much more. I feel like girls would like not do that as much as those boys do. I feel like girls would just act like chads. We'd all just act like frat boys. <laughs> we are frat boys. Yep. Next card. <laughs> Let's move on. If you had to, would you rather marry King John or ride Peter Dinklage down a sled down an extremely steep mountain? <laughs> Sorry, Peter Dinklage, but you're getting rode, my guy. <laughs> yeah. I can't marry King John Noon because according to Quentin in sixth grade, that is my father. <laughs> uh-huh. Shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to Quentin. Also, shout out to Kim Jong Un. <laughs> I'm shouting out to Peter Dinklage because I'm about to ride his ass down a mountain. <laughs> a steep mountain. A steep mountain. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh. You're both just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> one's joy, one's pain. You can't tell which is which. Yep. Mine's probably joy. <laughs> Let's be honest here. I don't think Peter's enjoying it. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Next question. Would you rather eat Martin Sorosis? Is that how you say it? Scorises? Scorises? I don't know. Eyebrows off his face. Do you remember him? He's the dude with the really fat yeah. eyebrows. <laughs> him. Or you're Jesus, but no one believes you. <laughs> I'm Jesus, but no one believes me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I apologize like, to Martin if I butchered your name, but... Because, like, if they don't believe me, it doesn't matter because I'm still Jesus. Yeah. <gasps> Wine every night, bitches. I would just be drunk all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, what's in there? Water. It doesn't smell like water. It is. <laughs> it's water, but it turns into wine when it hits my mouth. <gasps> How cool would that be? You would never get caught for drinking at school. Well, if you're Jesus, you probably don't have to go to school. That's true. If I was Jesus, I wouldn't go to school. That's I'd just, like, party in Jerusalem. If I was Jesus, I wouldn't make school a thing. Mm. I'd send the person that invented school to hell. Yeah, but they're probably already dead. Yeah, but, like, if they're in heaven. Just, like, extra hell? Yeah. <laughs> hell 2.0. It's worse. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the motto on the front door. <laughs> it's hell, but, like, worse. <laughs> oh, quality. Okay, go. <laughs> Next cards. <clears throat> if you had to, would you rather have everyone thinks you're Superman, but you're actually just you, <laughs> or instantly fall asleep whenever someone touches you? Ooh. <gasps> if I fell asleep whenever someone touched me, could I just live in a hamster ball and then nobody can touch me? <laughs> Because I would do that. But, like, what if you're, like, in class and you don't want to listen and it's like, hey, hey, you, 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 touch my arm. Yeah, just, like, poke me. <laughs> just poke me right there. Poke me right there. <laughs> just, just right on the shoulder. Just poke me right there. <laughs> I'm sorry if that made you uncomfortable. Not really. I'm not actually sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, I would just do that one. Yeah. I just fall asleep. Oh, that would be great. You get away with anything because it's like a condition. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I fell asleep during the test. Someone touched me. <laughs> was they, it, it was my fault. It's not my fault because Jessica over there touched my shoulder <laughs> on purpose. I can tell. <laughs> it was on purpose? Give her a zero. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Jessica. I'm talking about you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Okay. Would you rather have a shaman as your only doctor or be Voldemort's BFF? Be Voldemort's BFF. 100%. But he. How do you go to the beach with Voldemort? He can't wear sunglasses. He can't wear sunglasses, though. Like, he just can't. He doesn't have to. He's well, yeah. a wizard. <laughs> but. 
if you're gonna go to the beach, you kind of need sunglasses. You can wear a hat. <gasps> he gets so sunburnt. He's so pale. He's like Franklin. <laughs> Shout out to Franklin if you're listening to this episode of the podcast. I know you listened to the ones last night. <laughs> Thanks for the subscription, by you, the way. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. And if you are watching, hi, Franklin! <laughs> Just like in the halls, my dude. <laughs> okay, go. If you had to, would you rather star in a re- reality TV show called I Kill My Family <laughs> or hook up with Yoda? Horny I am. <laughs> <laughs> I would hook up with Yoda. Wait, are we talking Baby Yoda? Because that would be weird. It doesn't say Baby Yoda, it's just Yoda. Regular Yoda? Yeah. Can I put a paper bag over his head? <laughs> Where's Evan Peters in the bag? <laughs> he moans, but it's backwards. <laughs> How would that sound? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen Star Wars, so I don't know how Yoda sounds. Me either. <gasps> Twins. We get roasted in the comments. Please don't roast us. I'm sorry. I remember Mr. Rizek last year. Shout out to hit you, by the way. <laughs> um, last year, he told me as homework, I had to watch all the Star Wars movies in order. Like, chronological order. Like chronological, how they... yeah. <laughs> <Shut> Rabble, <up. laughs> And then, like, like, in order how they actually, like, timeline. Yeah. And I, he's like, you have to do it or you're going to fail this class. And then I never did. <laughs> so. Did you fail? No. Hmm. I had an A. Outsmarted. <laughs> I had to talk about myself. Uh, yes. Quality. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> if you had to, would you rather <laughs> make a balloon animal for everyone you meet or your dad divorces your mom because he's fallen in love with you romantically? I don't have a dad, so that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a dad. Win win! <laughs> you can have mine because I don't want it. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. I don't want it. Get rid of him. <laughs> he's not allowed anymore. No shout out to you. <laughs> no shout out to you. You know who you are. <sighs> but if you are watching, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but subscribe. If you don't, it's always going to throw a, a pop bottle at your head. I, I'll probably do that anyways. But... Yeah. <laughs> Next questions. Ah. Uh, hmm. If you had to, would you rather live the rest of your life on an airplane experiencing turbulence... Or you have the cure for cancer, but if you tell anyone, your family will be eaten alive by carpenter ants. <laughs> what was the first one? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Living the rest, the rest of your life on an airplane experiencing turbulence. Those are terrible. Well, technically, I don't have to tell anyone. I can just do it myself. And it's like, leave, yeah. it, leave it. And just be like, is it the cure for cancer? No. I can't answer that. <laughs> No, it's just a new treatment that we think might work. <laughs> it works for everyone. Wow, what is this? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not going to be alive for that much longer. Only like 50 years, maybe. Like 50 years tops. Because I, I do not have good habits, so I'm probably just going to like die. If you die, I'll kill myself to be with you. Uh, true, homie. <laughs> <laughs> but like, can I like put it in my will? Yeah, because you're not, like, saying it, you're writing it. Yeah, can I put it in my will? And then you can, and like, plus, then I'm dead anyway. Well, you could, like, write it down on a piece of paper and be like... Okay. What if I just, like, make it, like, my most prized possession? And I'm just like, after I die, like give if, it to a museum. Well, like, if you, like, write it down and it's, like, they read it and it says, I have the cure for cancer, you didn't say it, you wrote it. Yeah. Or I don't even mm-hmm. have to write the cure for cancer. I can just write down what the treatment is. Yeah. And you don't have to, like, say what it is. Just be like, try it on every cancer patient we have. Just give it to people. Why? We don't know if it's going to work. Just give it. <laughs> Do it. Call the FDA. I don't care. Tell them that it's going to work. Ugh. Is it the cure for cancer? No. Maybe. I don't know, man. <laughs> maybe. I don't know how the rules to this card work, so maybe. <laughs> what card? I gotta ah! go. I gotta go. I died. I dropped dead on the floor. <laughs> they uh... throw out the serum. Oh, that'd be terrible. <laughs> Cancer becomes an epidemic. Everyone dies. I watch from heaven. Hm, well, you should have listened. <laughs> or hell. I'm probably going to hell. Who, are, who am I kidding? <laughs> <sighs> okay, next card. <laughs> that got really, te- really dark. That's how you roll. Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, if you had to, would you rather get mauled by Care Bears or <laughs> every time you fall asleep, you end up stuck in Narnia? Oh, Narnia, yeah. 100%. I'd go there, but, like, on, on my purpose. Own. Yeah. Like, if my closet went to Narnia, hell yeah. That'd be so cool. I can't go in my closet because R. Kelly's in there, but <laughs> I'd still go. My closet. You can get through my closet. My, no, one's, yeah. no one's in my closet or Brianna's closet. Or Brianna's closet. Shout out to Brianna. Shout out to Brianna, our co- our other our co host. Co host. <laughs> Brianna's co host. Co co host. Y- yes, we all film on a panel together. Except it's not a pa- panel. We just sit at a desk. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's kind of a panel. Yeah. I don't know. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's not expose the ways of the podcast. You don't need to know. You just need to know that we're. It's not important. <laughs> So asking, if you had to, would you rather receive daily cock slapping from the rock <laughs> or be sexually attracted to men, women, animals, plants, street signs, soap, dispensers, and the sun? Cock, slop, cock <laughs> slapped by the rock. <laughs> I would do that by choice. Yeah. Because, like, you go to school and be like, I got cock slapped by the rock. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to happen today, too, so... Shout out to you, Dwayne. <laughs> Pretty cool guy. <laughs> and, like, it would be so awkward if you, like, went outside, saw the sun, and then got horny. It really would be. <laughs> You're washing your hands in the public bathroom. Oh, shit. Oh, septic center. <gasps> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and it's scented. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you had to, would you rather join the circus as the world's ugliest person attraction or accidentally marry your brother or sister but only find out after your third child? <laughs> I don't have siblings, so that's kind of impossible. But... Me too. But I'd rather do the circus one because... Yeah, me too. No. Circus. That'd be cool. Yeah. Let's do a circus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, I was like... I don't need to be a doctor. I don't need to do anything. I just be in circus. Conspiracy um, week is canceled. We're doing circus. <laughs> yeah. No more podcast. Not even sorry. We're joining the circus. <laughs> but we're the ugliest people there. So. <laughs> we'll do one more set of cards. Okay. And then we'll draw it to a conclusion. <laughs> okay. If you had to, would you rather relive middle school? Oh my god. Or... Reply to questions using only Bible scriptures. <laughs> I guess I'd relive middle school, but I hate it middle school with yeah, a passion. I'd be fine, except for in sixth grade when I got bullied. <laughs> so who bullied you in sixth grade? Quentin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's very racist to me. <laughs> Shout out to you again. Shout out to Quentin. He's fine now. We're cool now, kind of. We don't talk. <laughs> you okay now? Yeah, that's cool. Yep. He like apologized in like eighth grade. No. Oh. No, I mean, at least he's not a douche anymore. No, he's fine now. Hmm? I don't talk to him, though, so... I <laughs> talked to him once at a football game. That's it. Wow. And then you stole your clock goggles and ran away. <gasps> Does he still have those? I can't find them. No, you have them, so don't you? Because he gave them back. Did he? Yeah. I don't know. We'll find the clock goggles later. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we won't. I don't know. All right, folks. Well, that's the end of episode three of Pod Behavior. We played If You Had To... It, a party game. A party game. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Yeah. If you want a continuation of this series, we have plenty more cards. <laughs> so, yeah. yes. So, should we, like, keep these ones separate in case we want to do another episode? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Peace out. Bye! Bye! <laughs>